what is going on guys in last video we have successfully added add to cart icon and also the add to cart button in the product so when we click on that button it will add item to the cart in this video we will design the cart page so that we can see all the cart items in the list and also we'll add functionality for increasing and decreasing quantity in the cart and also remove from cart so let's get back to the project so now if we go to cart we have the product id and the quantity this we have added from the product page we have added to the cart and here we have the quantity six and five if you see over here we have six and five in the fire store database so with this product id now we have to get the product so we have stored the products in stock if you see in stock products we have all the products here with this id we have to get the product model so we can show all the detail like image prices and all so here first we should get the product first we'll create a variable let's say product by remember mutable state of product model import it now in launch defect what we will do we'll get the product so with the id we can get the product so where we have to query firebase.firestore.collection data dot document document id will be stock inside that we have collection product and inside that we have the document which document we will get over here so the id you can see over here document id is the product id so here we can pass whatever we are getting over here so product id now this is the document that means this is the product model so dot get dot add on complete listener here what we will do so if it successful value result equals to it dot result dot to object product model class dot java so we have done it lots of time then if result is not equal to null what we will do we will assign it to the product is equal to result so whatever id we will get over here we will get the product of that id so here for this cart item we will get one this cart item we will get one so to test what we can do here let's say text if we get product dot title let's say so if i run now and go to cart we didn't get the data in the data stock collection products data stock collection products it should be products not product i misspelled let's run it again now if i go to cart you can see the title of the product so this product we have added to the cart now we have got the whole product if you do over here price now we can design any way we want we have the product you can if you see over here here we have designed the product item like this here this is the card we have designed like this but for the cart page we will design similar to this but in a row not in the column so for that what i will do for the design i'll i'll copy from this product item view whatever we have here in the component we have product item view so we require everything from here let's copy context also we may require later let's copy this everything and here paste it so everything will be imported if i run without doing anything here if i run now you can see we have two product so this is also good you can design any way you want this is the product item design we have done but in cart it is not looking good so i will change some design card will be card this clickable we don't want for now let's remove this and then we'll make this as a row so it will come in row in the row we will add a sync image which will be height of 100 dp as well as width of 100 dp let's say and we'll remove this fill max width we want here let's run now you can see we have the image over here i want text over here and the price title and price i will add in a column so here what i will do after a sync image i will use column let's add some padding modifier dot padding around 8 dp and in the column i'll add this title i'll add actual price this one i'll cut it from here and add it below the title and as of now i will remove everything so we have now image title and the actual price so you can see over here image title and the actual price and this padding we can remove from the title and this card width should be fill max width so for this card what i will do dot fill max width now if i run you can see it is looking good now so we have title and price for this row what i will do vertical alignment alignment dot center vertical now we have image column and i will add an icon over here that will be removed from cart so below this column what i will do i will add icon button we can copy from product item view whatever icon button we have you can see over here we have add to cart button let's paste it over here and this on click let's remove for now and this will be delete icon and this will be remove from cart if i run now you can see we have this icon but here it has gone so for this column what we will do dot weight we will give one f so that it will take only the remaining space 
this column now it is good you can see over here delete icon now what we will do we have to show the quantity as well so i will show quantity over here but i will also add minus icon and plus icon so that we can increase or decrease the quantity this will also be a good feature so we should show the quantity but we can decrease or increase the quantity so for that what i will do below this column i will make another row so row here icon button so on click we will add letter text will be minus let's say font size will be around 20 dollars p let's make it big font weight font weight dot bold similar way i will copy this icon button paste it below it will be plus in between them i will add just a text that will be a quantity what quantity we have and font size let's say 16 sp now if i run you can see we have this but this should be inside the column not outside i want below this price so it should be here and let's add vertical alignment alignment dot center vertically now if i run we can see over here we have this and the quantity is being displayed it has five quantity if i go and add one more time this one television go to cart you can see it is now six here we have not added any functionality now this cart item is done if you have multiple item let's say if you have this also and if you have let's say this also i have only four products so you can see we have multiple items now we'll add the functionality so that we can remove it from here we can decrease the quantity we can increase the quantity so that we will do let's close everything for now and let's go to app util so we have created add to cart similar way we will create another utility function so what i will do i will, will modify this method so i will copy everything from here paste it below let's name it as remove from cart so same method we can utilize to decrease the quantity as well or to delete from here so what we will do we have to query the users that is correct we have to get the current cart items now updated quantity will not be plus one so here in the add to cart we are doing plus one because it will increase the quantity by one or it will add to the cart but in the remove from cart what we will do we will decrease the quantity so whenever we click on minus that means it will decrease the quantity now that's it now here we will write item removed from cart failed uh, removing item from cart let's say let's try it either it is removed or not so we have to call this method from cart item view where is the minus icon so you can see over here we have this minus icon let's app util dot remove from cart context will be context product will be product id that's it and for plus icon also we can add we already have add to cart so app util dot add to cart context and product id that's it now plus and minus button should work let's see now if i go to cart if you see over here this one i have only one if i click on plus item added to the cart but it is not updated item has been added to the cart if you see over here in the users collection this is for the nike shoes you can see we have two plus is working if i do minus you can see it is one now what if i do again minus you can see it is zero but it should not be zero it should be removed entirely so if it is zero or if i do again minus you can see minus one it should not happen otherwise if we remove also all the product will be visible over here so it is not good go back and see over here it is still there but it has minus one quantity so this should not happen so for that what we will do here we will add the condition so here what we will do if in the remove cart after doing minus one this updated cart will be equals to here we will add the condition so here if updated quantity is if updated quantity is less than or equal to zero zero or less than zero what we will do map of same we will do cart items product id to here we are passing updated quantity but we want to remove the key as well so for that what we have we have filled value from firestore dot delete so it will just delete the product id from this cart items from this cart items it will remove this if it is zero or less than zero else whatever we were doing that we will do it will update if it is more than zero it will update if it is equal to or less than zero it will delete let's run it it is already minus one so i will do minus item removed from cart you can see over here it is removed if i do macbook here also minus you can see we now only have two items if you go back and come again you can see it is removed so this logic is working now for this delete icon so we don't have to pass quantity for this if we click on this it should delete entirely either it is one quantity or six quantity whatever it is so for that what we will do here we will add one more variable to identify as a boolean so let's say remove all boolean equals to false we'll initialize it as false if we pass it true from anywhere it will delete all so here what we are doing here we are deleting the item if it is zero or less than zero here we will add another condition if it is remove all if it is remove all that means if it is true then also delete everything so here from delete icon this icon we will pass app util dot remove from cart context product id and remove all we will add as true here 
for the minus icon we are not passing remove all that means it will try run this condition only but here if we pass remove all that means it will it will always delete the item regardless of quantity so if i run now if i go to add this back let's say if i remove this you can see item removed to the cart it should be from the cart but you can see it is removed if you go back and come again if it has six quantity also it will be removed directly if you go back and come again you can see it is removed so our logic is working plus is also working minus is also working and remove entirely is also working so this is working item removed from the cart from the cart. now if you might have noticed if i add to the cart and if i increase or decrease the quantity it is not being reflected over here it is reflected in the fire store it is updated if we go back and come again it is reflected but when we click it it is not being reflected why because here if you see over here in the cart item view we have the quantity it is a static variable so when the cart page loads it is getting the user model and it is passing the quantities so when we click on plus button it is not updating this variable it is loaded only once so if we go back and come again again it is loaded and it is reflected so it should not happen so for that what we will do we will add a listener so it should be a snapshot listener so whenever the quantity is updated it should update this screen automatically this cart page screen it should update automatically so we will create a listener over here so here we were getting only once but we'll create a listener instead of getting once we'll add a snapshot listener so here what we will do instead of get dot add on complete listener i will do dot add snapshot listener here we will get two variable one is snapshot that is it and second variable you can name it anything let's give underscore and then arrow so it is snapshot not the task we don't have to check is successful we can check if it is not equal to null if it is not equal to null then it dot to object user model it will convert and this snapshot is a user model so whenever we update something this function will be triggered and user model value will be updated and it will update accordingly so if i run now card if i click on plus you can see it is updated minus it is updated instantly but here we are initializing the listener we are not removing it anywhere so it can be triggered multiple times so it is not good so for that what i will do here i will create a variable listener equals to listener equals to this we will assign it to listener and we have to dispose it so where we can dispose it we have to use disposable effect instead of launched effect we will use disposable effect it will do the same thing for this disposable effect what we have to do we have to override one function that is on dispose so here below this on dispose if you see now on dispose we have to dispose this listener so listener dot remove that's it so whenever we go to other page that means this screen is no longer visible it should remove the listener otherwise listener will be triggered multiple times so if i run now go to cart you can see now it is working as expected and you can see it is immediately removed if i remove this also so if you see over here one bug is there if i add multiple items let's say if i remove this first item it is being removed but in the screen it is still visible the item i have removed is iphone but it is still visible and the second item has gone so if you go and come back again you can see it is correct now so why this is happening here lazy column we have not passed any key so here we are passing items only we are not passing any key so that's why it is not re-updating so here what we will do after passing items here we'll pass some key which will be in the curly braces we will write it dot first so whatever the list we are getting let's pass the key as first now if i run if i go to cart if i add more items let's say now if i remove this iphone the iphone is removed if i remove this tv tv is removed if i remove everything everything is gone so in this way it will work so i will add one more time so you can remove the items you can increase the quantity you can decrease the quantity below zero it won't go it will remove the item if you want to decrease the length of toast you can you can write over here length dot sort so toast will be displayed for the short period of time so in this way we have created method remove from cart where we can remove individual items or we can say remove all so that it will remove the product from the cart so that's all for this video in next video we'll add the checkout button over here so that when we click on that it will go to another page and it will start the checkout process so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye